name's Andrew Knight. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Conservation Letters. Um, today I'm presenting the first of our issues, Insights, which is basically an overview of the contents of our January-February issue for 2014. Opening the issue, we have James Watson from the Wildlife Conservation Society, who's presenting on potential impacts of human adaptations of climate change. Our feature article for the issue is by Guy Barn from Pantera, and he's discussing the effectiveness of research into leopard in South Africa. Is it actually providing any real benefits? We then have two articles on threats to biodiversity. The first is from Brazil, which is looking at non-native fish species, and the second is from Indonesia, looking at broad-scale oil palm and the impacts of that compared to small-scale production. We have a controversial study that's looking at the benefits of electricity pylons as opposed to the negatives associated with um, bird conservation in uh, agricultural landscapes. We also have an overview from Natalie Bam, which is presenting a framework looking at systematic conservation planning and its potential for ensuring conservation of marine biodiversity. There's also an overview of public participation, looking at uh, the benefits of participation for achieving the goals of global environmental programs. And finally, we have a debate between David Lindemeyer and Edward Faison and their colleagues about the value of old trees for conserving biodiversity. So go and check it out. Go to www.conservationletters.com. Feature articles free. And yeah, find something of interest. Have a good day. <laughs>